Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. I cooked the bones down and I want to show you. I uh, pressure cooked them for four hours and I want to show you the bones. I need a bowl to that. I took one of these thick bones and I broke it. I'm talking about bones this thick. Let's see if I can break this one. And I want to show you how much. Look how many minerals. That's me breaking the bones. These massive big bones. I don't know what I can do. Yeah, this one I could do. That's how much minerals and gel and, to, and everything I got out of them. I just wanted you to see that I really cooked these down to get everything out of the bones that I could possibly get. I think if I uh, pressure cooked it another two hours, I wouldn't even find bones in there. But anyway, here it is. And I'm gonna strain this a second time, put it in the refrigerator and let it chill so I can take the fat off. And this will be my gelatin that I will definitely be cooking all winter long and whenever got one jar in the refrigerator but I want to can them so I can just put them away now they won't act like gel gelatin that you know unless you stick them in the refrigerator because they'll stay liquid until you put them in the refrigerator then they gel up anyway I wanted to show you just how much so if you're just cooking the bones for an hour and boiling them and you can't break bones like that then you have not pulled the true flavors and the gelatin and everything out of these bones you've really got to pressure cook these and you need a pressure cooker to do that and that will draw it out some people say add a tablespoon of vinegar and boil it for four or five hours you will not get those bones to break like that now that's when I pulled all the minerals the gelatin and everything out of it and whatever meat was on it was just added protein to it so take care and have a great day